you haven't already, check out Crazy Faith by Pastor Michael Todd. Uh, pastor Michael Todd, he's uh, the pastor of Transformation Church, and um, a couple of weeks ago he started this amazing uh, sermon series called Crazy Faith. Check it out. It is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. My name is Jonathan Pasley, and uh, remember to uh, subscribe to this channel, like this page, and share this video with your family and friends. I may be an encouragement to someone else. So, uh, Crazy Faith by Pastor Michael Todd. Uh, just a, a great sermon series. Um, he's like on week 1000 right now. But, <laughs> you know, he started, um, he started off the, the sermon series with just a, a testimony of faith, of just how God just showed up in his life in such an amazing way uh, several years ago. God gave him the vision to uh, one day have Transformation Church in in the Spirit Bank Center, Event Center. Um, and he wrote it down and believed in it. And like five, six years later, Transformation Church is moving into the Spirit, uh, Spirit Bank Center. Amazing. Like just the way he tells the story of how it all went down. Um, just a just an amazing testimony of not only uh, faith, uh, but of just how when we trust in God and trust in the plans and the purpose that he has for a life in our lives, that God can do an amazing things in our lives. So, uh, you know, it imp impacted me in such a great way, encouraged me in, in, in such a, an amazing way. And um, for those of you that don't know my story, I was diagnosed with uh, cancer and uh, in 2016 at age 29 just a few weeks away from my, my 30th birthday and uh, you know in some of my videos it just shows my 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 cancer journey but uh, recently within the last like three months the uh, cancer started to reemerge in my liver with uh, some lesions in my uh, my liver and uh, you know it just like any person in their cancer journey you can get a little worried you get a little I got a little discouraged right and, um, and you know I took two or three days to mope mope around <laughs> but then uh, you know I just I, I prayed about it and, um, and and God really just gave me a peace that really surpassed all understanding and and uh, so long story short I want to tell you this I want to tell you about uh, my crazy faith testimony and how I really applied this or to my life um, the time that I heard the first sermon from uh, Pastor Michael Todd just felt like God speaking to me and um, you know the at the time the doctor my doctor my oncologist said okay the medicine that you're taking is no longer working uh, we've got to switch you he referred me to another doctor where they were doing a clinical trial and uh, you know, so it's right around the same time, I'm starting this clinical trial with this new drug, right? And um, I, I, I start taking it just around the same time. And you get a little nervous because there's side effects and is it gonna work, is it gonna? But with that sermon series, a Crazy Faith sermon series, one, I, I just, I prayed to God because God has given me visions. Uh, and he's promised to me, I, I, I just, Believe in his promises and his word. You know, God's got a plan. God's got a purpose for us. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. That all things work together for good. Uh, Romans eight twenty eight. And um, and I and, and in my cancer journey, I've, I've even heard God speak to me, you know, especially when I was my, at my lowest of lows. That God was going to bring me out of this. He literally said, "Jonathan, well done. You know, you passed the test, and I'm going to bring you out of this. I'm going to bring you out of this trial." And um, you know, so I, I prayed and I said, "God, look, I." I believe you 100% that you're you're going to bring me on this. You're going to see me through this, and that you have a great plan and purpose for me. And you know, and and part of that plan and purpose is to do these YouTube videos, is to to continue uh, with uh, Christians battling cancer and you know, the support group uh, that we have, and just uh, using me to be a blessing uh, to to others. You know, and I, I prayed this prayer, the plan. I said, Lord, I'm I'm. I'm believing that you've already healed me, <laughs> that you've already healed me, and um, that uh, there will be no side effects to this medicine. That the doctors will be amazed at what you're doing in my in my in my body and in my health, and um, that uh, this testimony will just be a, a testimony just to glorify your name. You know, and I prayed a prayer or something like that. And, and uh, every time I take the medicine, I pray over it. 
<laughs> and I pray over and I just and I thank God um, in advance for his healing and uh, interestingly enough so a about last week last week went to the the doctor for uh, the first kind of checkup after two weeks of taking this medicine and again it's supposed to have side effects and things and the doctor was you know they, they did all the vitals and asked me the questions and he's like so you know the side effects that you're having what, what kind of side effects i was like none he's like so so what okay let me look at your blood pressure your blood pressure is the same as it was before you were taking the medicine uh are you even taking the medicine <laughs> i was like yeah i'm taking it he's like so you have no side effects i said nope he said, wow. And then I said, well, God is good. <laughs> well, God is good. So um, I, I just want to share that with you, uh, that uh, despite what you're going through, have that crazy faith uh, that uh, God is with you in the midst of whatever it is uh, that you're going through. Again, um, the cancer journey can be a difficult, difficult thing, but it can be a lot easier when you trust in Christ and believe in his promises and lean on him and allow him to use you whenever capacity that may be um so uh, i pray that this is encouraging to you and i pray that uh this also helps ignite your crazy faith in christ and uh, you believing him um for whatever it is that you might be going through right now but also not using him as a genie but um you know really deepening your relationship with christ and allowing him to use you um, in whatever capacity or purpose uh, or whatever blessing, however he wants to use you to bless someone else. So, hey, oh, if you've been diagnosed with cancer, feel free to um, join our support group on Facebook, uh, Christians Battling Cancer, where we all support, pray, and encourage each other. It's a powerful group where God is just doing amazing things in all of us. Uh, go to www.cbc.support and it'll take you straight there. Um, and I just fill out the questions and and join our community, join our community. You know, the Bible says in Matthew 17, 18, um, uh, it might be 18, 19, one of those, that <laughs> when um, uh, two or more of his believers come together, that the Lord is is with us. And um, the Lord is with us, the Lord is with us in, in, in our community. So come join, please. We'd love to have you be a part of the community. And uh, hey, feel free to like this video and um, share this video with somebody who you think can benefit from it. Comment underneath it, underneath this video. Uh, share with me a testimony that you have had of just faith and how God has showed up in, in your life. All right, everyone. God bless.